Are you ready to be shocked by what people are calling the new best restaurant in Disney World? Yes, we're showing you here first. It is not even fully open. It's a soft opening. But of course, in LBV TV, we like to show you the coolest and the best. And you can tell from behind me, we're obviously in the Japan Pavilion and World Showcase in Epcot. And it is called Shiki Sai. It is celebrating the different festivals and the four seasons of the Japanese culture. And so not only are you getting amazing food, that we're being told is like Nobu quality, you know, that celebrity fancy restaurant that, you know, they go to. But we're talking also incredible cultural experiences where it's interactive. Suppose there's fireworks inside. There's even supposedly screens with uh, different seasons changing, as well as different interactive experiences where you celebrate the festivals and the menu's gonna change monthly. It's already a never dull moment. This is just the intro to this vlog. All right, hit that like and subscribe button because we gotta get the party started. And I am so excited to try what should be one of the best restaurants new in Disney. Now, starting August 27th, you'll need to make reservations for this, but right now it's just walk up and uh, you come right over here where you used to go over Tokyo Dining and wait to see the menu. Before we go in, look at this beautiful menu. Supposedly the decor inside is going to mimic this beautiful menu, the artistry as you can see already here. So it says in the Japanese culture that the Four Seasons hold cultural significance and they're gonna bring that to the table. That's why the menu is going to change seasonally and it's gonna coincide with celebrations. So you also get kind of a historical um, experience, cultural experience, as well as great food. Wow, the menu is beautiful. Let me know if you eat sushi, but again, if you don't, don't worry. They have things that aren't sushi. The $100 bridge sushi. Ooh, what is that? Japanese horse mackerel. Again, I've actually never eaten some of this. With $300 boat. And say you do not want sushi. Again, there are so many options. Look at this. You have a Kara aged chicken, um, as well as things you can get, almost like fast fair. They call it pub fair for Japanese pub fair. Wagyu tataki, oh my goodness. And again, you can get grilled salmon with miso. You can get eggplant. From the grill, look at that. A Japanese savory pancake filled with bacon. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're gonna go broke today. We're gonna go broke today. Oh my goodness, the menu keeps going. Wow, I don't even know what I'm gonna get. This is, all right, you're gonna have to watch and see. Oh, should we do sake flights? Oh no, it's afternoon. We need to be able to get home. What is that? What is that? And it's always important to stand out. <laughs> That's, great minds think alike. Okay, but people are gonna think like we're like doing this on purpose at this point. No, but just we have the same taste. Uh, well, how do we keep wearing the same shirt? Um, so because weird. great minds think alike great and minds stand out, I guess. The I great minds know. stand out. I know. Chris, Chris yeah, almost I, wore I, a power I, line. I just, I just, I just I saw stop him. some guy standing over there in the corner. I'm like, oh, that guy's wearing the phantasmic tee. I almost wore that. And then I realized it was Chris. It's Chris. <laughs> that happened at the Halloween party. And you know, it's going to be a standout vlog if Kristen's here, because when there is food, the person to trust is this girl. I'm so excited. Yeah. She hold, she don't hold back. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, Chris, this looks so nice. <gasps> Compared to what it used to look like. Oh, this is beautiful. It's almost like Takumite. Oh, this is lovely. Chris, nobody is here. But you know why? That's because we got to it first. And hopefully this vlog will bring a lot of new people because this is beautiful. They really set it up lovely. It's nice and calm too. Remember how loud and crazy it used to be when it was Tokyo dining? Yes. Let me know in the comments, do you remember what I'm talking about? And what's this, Chris? I think this is a wishing Oh, that is neat. Now, before you even walk in, they're actually showing you cultural things that are important to the seasons. In July, they have a special festival where you put wishes on a tree. So you can actually write your wishes and put them right here. How cool is that? So before you even walk in, they are paying homage to Shikisai, which means four seasons, and you becoming a part of the festival. So before you even walk in, they are paying homage to the awesome cultural experiences you would have uh, with different festivals monthly, the food's gonna change monthly, but also fun little things like this, like, look, people wrote, I wish to be wealthy and healthy. <gasps> we'll have to make wishes later, guys. I know, I can't wait. Oh, these are lovely wishes, too, for love, happiness, and I thought it said, and a penguin. It doesn't, it says a promotion, but there is a penguin. Oh, what's that? It's a oot. Oh, it's a welcome. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I love this already better than Tokyo Dining. When it was Tokyo Dining, it used to be so loud. This is so tranquil and beautiful. Have you ever been to Tokyo Dining? I did years ago. It's, it was very loud and chaotic, and this is just so zen. Yeah, this is lovely. And look how beautiful. Oh, my goodness. The ceiling with the cherry blossom and, like, gold foil and the cranes. 
What? You guys really outdid yourselves. Oh my goodness. So Kristen was just told that these lanterns are hand painted and a lot of the stuff you're gonna see is actually handcrafted. Look at the fireworks going. Okay, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? So these are interactive windows. So even if you're not by the fireworks, they're gonna set them off for you. Um, and the moon over here has been changing. You can also um, have the sushi bar experience if you want something easy and quick. But how neat, speaking of fireworks, look at that view for fireworks. Honestly, I think people will start coming here and just getting a spot to eat and be able to watch the fireworks. So remember the name of this restaurant is the Four Seasons. That's what it translates to. And now the fall has come. How cool is that? So definitely if you sit here in the back, which honestly I might pick to do so, this has been changing for the different seasons. Now we're in fall and it's absolutely beautiful. Night comes as well. That's when the fireworks show up here on the screens. It's absolutely amazing. Again, remember the name of this translates to Four Seasons and the Festival of Four Seasons. So a celebration of it. And they definitely know how to celebrate here. Chris has not been in the United States for almost a month. And you've been eating, you just said, just whatever, you, Chipotle or whatever you get your hands on. A lot of tacos. A lot of tacos. Um, Chris, can we go all out this since it's your amazing. first real meal in, in America? This looks amazing. I think people are going to come here just to sit and have a fireworks view. I mean, look at this view, guys. And Chris, you didn't see this. I promise, did you see they set off fireworks and fake windows? Yes, it's so cool. How, how neat videos. is that? So even yeah. if you don't have a fireworks view, you a Chris, fireworks? they're setting off fireworks right. where the different televisions are that are meant to look like screens at your outdoors. This is so relaxing and quiet. It feels like we're in a spa. <laughs> I even have like a little boy's towelette. Oh, so nice. I swear there's people in here. <laughs> maybe there's not. Actually, no, we're the only ones. I might take it back. So maybe that's also why it's very zen. We have a little towelette. Again, a closer look at the drink menu. We got the weird popsicle things. I'm excited to try it. But what's really neat is their sakis are gonna change based on the festivals that the Japanese culture celebrates. I was so excited because I love otters. Chris, how much do I love otters? Obsessed? <laughs> yeah, so I was like, I want the otter sake. And she said, no, it's only for that month when we celebrate the otter festival. And right now that's not happening. So you can try different sakis based on what festivals are uh, being celebrated, but again, there's so many things. The sweet potato sake, the, again, I don't even, oh, sake in a can, take it to go. So I've been trying to convince Chris that we need the bridge, <laughs> but he just noticed something. So the bridge for $100 feeds two to four people. Okay. But in the back, they have the matsu for $100 that feeds three to four people. So I bet you there's more food on the matsu than so the bridge. So you're paying for a bridge. You're paying for what the bridge. You're, you're paying for the, the looks yes. is what Chris is debating. Like I pay for a popsicle in my drink right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris is like, if you're gonna make me spend $100 on sushi, I'm gonna count that we actually get the most bang for it. He's counting the actual pieces of sushi in a photograph to compare the bridge versus this matsu here. That's right, Chris, we don't have to spend $100, it's okay. <laughs> So we think that the reason the bridge is more expensive is you get sashimi, yes. which means no rice. It's a little bit heartier, yeah. I'm guessing. Actually, get, no, that's you, not true. You I take some, that back. There's you, some uni. Should be cheaper, no rice. You get <laughs> like you get sea urchin. You get. Some, oh, I see. Yeah. So the reason to get this is actually this is the fancier sushi. You're gonna get the sea urchins and things of that sort. Salmon roe, like tuna fancy, tataki, the expensive egg sushi. sushi, things that you are very difficult to to have. How pretty. So what did you get? This Thomas? is a spicy crunch roll, of course, with spicy tuna. Got a little, little fish eggs on top as well, but just the presentation on the black plate. I know, plate. how beautiful. Stunning. So Chris got a really cool drink. Like, what does he need to do? I have to squeeze the, the grapefruit and then pour it into my drink. That's it. Like, That's what it? Tell me how to do that, that, that what he has to do? Just pour, he just squeezes it and pours yeah. it in his drink. Men don't need directions, right, Chris? No, we don't. <laughs> I don't so, know. I mean, what if you're doing it wrong? What if the ratio is wrong? I my own grapefruit. I think Chris is also in the running for coolest drink with this one. He is juicing his own grapefruit. <laughs> that is so cool. This is supposedly very popular in the Japanese culture. Yeah, it's very so popular. Awesome. And this used to be here at Tokyo Dining also. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But now, wow. let me take some off the top. What does it taste like without the grapefruit? 
It's just water, right? It's like soft. It's like a no, vodka, it's like, like a. Oh. So now I'm gonna pour that on top. Wow. What a healthy beverage. <laughs> That's so cool. It's very healthy. Oh, thank you. Oh. All right, so. Wow. When you grab it off the boat in Greece, it's very cheap. <laughs> Just get it from the ocean. This is a Japanese pancake with the bacon, right? It's moving, it's moving. Oh yeah, why is it moving? The heat. Oh, it's dancing. Oh my goodness. It's a ghosty pancake. This is dried bonito flakes. Dried bonito flakes. It's a bonito flake. A bonito flake is our tissue paper thin fish shavings with intense oh. umami flavor. What's an umami? Fishy it's a flavor. flavor. Oh, Very no, fishy like flavor. Mushroom. Moving. Mushroom. All right, so we just learned that fish flakes are what is bonito that is on top of here. How is it? Well, it doesn't taste like a pancake. What does it taste like? Spare ribs. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> it's like barbecue, right? No, yeah. there is bacon in there. It tastes like spare ribs. <laughs> Yep. With fish flakes? Yep, with moving fish flakes on top. So this is the eel, and it's salt water. So I was told that was special. Think of it like a giant eel sushi roll. And then I got a uh, toro of some of the best sushi um, in like a little uh, bowl here. Um, it's supposed to be delicious. Again, all of this is around $18 uh, each item. Um, including this moving pancake that I'm gonna say is a no. That is not the kind of latke I was hoping for. <laughs> Still moving. It does taste like barbecue because of the pork and the sauce on top of it. And this is the roll where you make it on your own. We're gonna make a roll, each one of us, because there's enough, look, enough paper. We'll pick and choose. And then I think Kristen got a good old tuna. Got a little roll. So I, I got the crazy stuff. The girl with no colon. It's the crazy stuff. I told you I was, I was in it to win it. But Chris, do you like this? What do you think? I mean, it's basically a latka. It's like hash browns. So you like it. So it's like a good hearty dude meal, like meat and potatoes, just Japanese style. And then fish flakes that move. So this is 18. It is one of the appetizers, one of the uh, Toro things. It's supposed to be the best of these certain things like salmon, hamachi, which is yellowtail, and tuna. Um, but it's cheaper than getting a Toro sashimi piece. So um, it's literally one Toro, which means like fanciest tuna, um, is $24. So, mmm. Ooh, very good. And you need soy sauce. Next is the eel. Mmm. Good? It is so good. Mm, I don't know. I'm supposed to share, but it's really good. Has anybody ever had eel before? Let me know in the comments. This is good. That's some good. It's like basically a giant sushi eel piece. Um, but again, it's actually more cost effective. This was 18 versus two pieces of eel as a sashimi are almost the same cost. There you go. Tip and trick. Now you get a whole filet of eel. All right, they're trying eel for the first time. Chicken, right? Okay, it's oddly very good. Yeah. And it doesn't taste eely no. at all. Chicken, what does eely taste like? I don't know, it kind of also like tastes like banana peel for what? some reason. No. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, there is a sauce to it. There's a sweet sauce on it. Yeah. So exactly. I'll give her that. Buying the eel. It's really good. You're eating jetsam and... Flotsam and jetsam? Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> right. It's pretty good. I like yeah. the sauce on it too. I love like a, like a hoisin soy kind of sauce. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's good. We did not get the boat or the bridge because we thought since Chris has only eaten Chipotle for a month, you know what? Go for the Wagyu instead. This is a Wagyu nigiri mm -hmm. so it's a little bit rare right chris very good does it melt in your mouth it's, like could like i butter. eat it it's like butter it just melts in your mouth this would be my first time eating wagyu beef mm -hmm. oh you my god amazing like the best steak ever. have you guys ever had this 
Yeah, I've had Wagyu. Wagyu beef, my first time too. How amazing is that? Just like melt in your mouth. All right, so that was my first time trying Wagyu beef, and it really does taste like like the foie gras of beef. It just melted in your mouth. Oh my goodness, it's so good, it should be illegal. So while we're on our kick of trying crazy foods, sea urchin is next. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's almost like creamy and sweet. Again, I don't know if it's because I'm Mediterranean Greek, but my dad literally used to jump off a boat grab them and crack them like crabs and we would eat them raw as a kid um and so maybe that's why I like let me know if you're like oh god that's gross Maria it is delicious Chris do you like it mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> it's so good and then for those that don't want sushi Kristen what is this the karachi karage chicken karage it's like chicken. Japanese fried chicken and what do you think of it compared to chicken fingers <laughs> I mean, it's very good. It's definitely like fresher than chicken tenders. Yeah, I, lo I love that they give you a lemon to squeeze on there. That added like a really nice fresh flavor. Um, but I said, just needs a little bit of a sauce, some type of like soy-ish sauce. Okay. So they were all teasing me. They said, oh, so it's Japanese chicken fingers. Let's see. Oh, it's very good. Just right. the batter is very unique. Yeah. It's better than a regular chicken finger. If you love chicken fingers, but when it, again, luxurious. I think it's the theme of everything. Everything tastes elevated. Like a delicacy. This is the most fancy chicken finger I've ever had. This was twenty dollars. Does it taste twenty dollars? Yes, actually. It tastes like very, very good quality chicken. Melts in your mouth. It's it definitely feels like a twenty dollar and tastes like a twenty dollar chicken finger. And let's check back in with the moving food here. <laughs> um, it's still, still moving. moving. <laughs> After we're almost done. It's still going. <laughs> What is this called? Kishiakina Beyaki, right? Oh, yeah. Kishiakina. Oh, it's like, oh. Serve table side. That's cool. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> this is seaweed on top. So this is so neat. What a cool experience watching them make it. Again, like table side guacamole, but table side rice. Japanese deliciousness. <laughs> so what's in the rice, Kristen? I think it's like a garlic soy sauce, beef. There's some spinach in there, maybe onions, and then they top it with some seaweed. So the final, again, cap to these amazing entrees is actually a make your own sushi roll, a hand roll here. And I thought because there's so many and it's a lot, how fun would it be to see what this promise pick as her sushi roll? What does Kristen pick? What does Chris pick? Everybody guess in the comments. Um, I see here scallops raw, salmon raw, that eel we have avocado to work with. I didn't know what that, I was like, was that cheese? And Chris is like, yeah, Maria, they put green cheese in a uh, Philly roll. I was like, uh oh. There's even salmon roe, which is very expensive and fancy. Um, so this is a $35 option, but honestly, this easily is a, this will feed for good hearty rolls. Yes. Um, and honestly, we're probably too full to even eat this, but we're going to, we're going to try. Um, this also is a crab and then you have a, uh, a spicy tuna over here. Say you want to make, um, you know, something with just nigiri or, uh, a handle, I mean, there's tons of options and let's see what everybody picks. Yeah. Chris is making this really fancy. Look, Wow. Again, this is the reason Chris creates all of our designs. He is an artiste, even when it comes to food. I do love the new Fantasmic shirt, Chris. Uh, Thank you. Uh, that's one of my favorite. And it is restocked in 3XL if you were looking for it. But as you can tell by his perfectionism here and artistry, mine's just going to look like a good old roll shoved with some rice. Whereas <laughs> Chris is making this into a piece of art. You know, the the chefs here would be very proud, Chris. I hope so. They'd be very proud. I'm actually auditioning for my job right You're now. You're a new job. Sorry guys, no more shirts. He's going to be a sushi su chef. Su chef. Full disclosure, I did eat one piece of salmon, but realistically, I feel like there's not enough maybe for four. Three. So Chris, you're gonna have to just eat that rice. Just rice and seaweed. <laughs> just rice and seaweed. Rice, rice wrap. I don't know what, yeah. There you go, put some cream cheese in it, Chris. 30 minutes later, Chris is still going. This is beautiful B-roll. This looks like we have some sort of professional chef making a table side, <laughs> table side sushi roll. Is it fun, Chris? 
Oh, it's like for fun. a family. Arts and crafts are so fun. It's like an arts and crafts. Arts and crafts are so fun. No? Yeah. I like arts and crafts. Oh, wow. Look at the precision. That's really impressive, actually. Wow. You know what we should do, guys? We should have like a sushi night. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Buy the stuff to make it ourselves. Well, we know who can help us. And Chris's professional sushi roll here. That is huge. Wow. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. You're not um, done I yet. I am done, and mine does not live up to his. Wow. I actually made like a little All right, guys. So this is going to be a 30 minute vlog if we keep watching this. Now, Chris added more to this thing of beauty. Wow. But Chris, show them how big it is. I don't think there is. It's like a cheesesteak you, you made. It's a sushi burrito. Yeah, how are you going to eat that, actually? Sushi burrito. I mean, look how big it is. Like, okay, Chris is six foot four. That is delicious. Well, it was made with artistry, too. And love. Artistry and love. But I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna take some salmon. <laughs> Papa <Probably> right here. <laughs> Give me some soy sauce, Chris. There you go. We don't we don't got time for all that. I'm hungry. <laughs> and mmm. I'm good. 30 minutes, two seconds. <laughs> so this is the spicy jalapeno roll and Chris loves spicy, promise I'll set see Chris, what do you think? I'm a spicy, spicy food connoisseur. And no joke, we've literally eaten everything. Like it's, yes, all of that food guys. <laughs> really good. Everybody's really good. face looks like, oh yeah, we do eat a lot. The only thing we didn't eat almost all of it is the moving fish flakes. Are they still moving? Probably. <laughs> we literally ate all of it. I still got some to go. I know, we're in we're it to gone. win it. No, everything is gone except the cream cheese. <laughs> it just kind of shows you that it's like not filler food. No, no it's very... is like legit, legit food that you can just continue to eat it. It's not, it's not filler. Oh yeah, and, and high quality. Um, you know, I just think that was the, that was the only one that was too experimental for me. All right, so Chris and I have been here when it was Tokyo Dining, and that was crazy pants. We're talking, people are screaming. It was loud, it was like a nightclub. Um, also, it was like fast food Japanese. It was. Um, this is definitely an upgrade. And again, say you don't like sushi, don't worry. There was so much, half the menu was not sushi. I didn't even eat sushi until I made my own roll. Yeah, actually it's true, you ate the, I mean again, so much to pick from, but also, I think if you want to have an experience like a Nobu without going to New York or something like that, honestly, I'm not kidding. This was comparable. Look, even the view, Chris isn't even paying attention. He is beautiful. Chris was like, there's a camera, look at this view. I'm not paying attention. I get it, I get it, Chris, that is stunning. Again, what a, we have to come back here. Another great point that Promise made was how many times have we been to an opening of something and we're like, oh, it was the opening. So we like kind of give it the benefit of the doubt if it wasn't good. Yeah. And this was really really a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out our other vlogs. There's a lot of disasters. No, I, if you wouldn't have told me this was a soft opening, I would have thought it had been around here the whole time. Yeah. It was so good. Everything was great. Yeah. So it just goes to show we're, we're nice. But no, this is, they really, they were like, oh, top of the line. And the desserts came out. We got the matcha soft serve green tea, which is gonna be lighter, also easier on your stomach in case you have any stomach issues like me. A mango mousse cake, that's amazing. And a yuzu cheesecake, that looks nice that and looks light. so good. Yeah. A yuzu soft serve cake. green tea ice cream. Mm. We've also got the mango mousse cake as well. Oh, that's good, yuzu Chris, cheesecake. the cheesecake. And then, let's do. Mm. Very light. All the desserts are really light, not too sweet. Mm. That's like, I would That's say, the good. best green tea ice cream I've ever had. The best green tea ice cream you've yeah, we, ever had. We get it a lot. This is yeah. like, you this can really feel good. like it's true matcha in yep. there. It's not just like, oh, somebody it's flavored ice cream. It's actually sprinkled with matcha, too. You can yeah. see it on top. That might be the best ice cream I've ever had. Like ice cream. Yeah, it's so good, right? And it's light because of the soft serve, as well as like a really good natural flavor. Oh, Kristen. Surprise. Never a dull moment. Happy birthday, and I was worried that they pulled a <laughs> 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 Oh, 
So oh, everybody was teasing me when I said, you have to get the desserts in Japan. And they were like, why? I'm like, it's very different here, as well as they don't go super hard on the sugar. So you're gonna get really interesting desserts. I would say it's very different than anything in World Showcase. Um, and uh, I promise, are you gonna do the honors with the mango next? We were just trying to find room where we were gonna fit yeah, all this no, no. dessert. But nobody knew. Just make room. Yes, Trust make us. room. Oh, wow. Oh, so we get our own coasters with the different yes, fall great kind and of festivals. This is fireworks festival in summer. Oh, there's a fireworks festival in the summer, honey? And which mm -hmm. one is this one? That was the Spring. Cherry Blossom Cherry Festival. Cherry Blossom Festival. And this is for, uh, in autumn, we celebrate the, um, we watch in the moon. The new moon. It's um, skimmy. Yes. But we have three kind of coasters. So which one do you like? You can choose oh, or nice. choose whatever one you want. Right? Oh, cool. Oh my goodness. So this is a really cool thing that they give you when you go to leave at the end. Um, of course, there's a festival going on, so they gave us a card to make our wish, like I showed you earlier, uh, and we'll put that on the tree that is part of a Japanese cultural festival. But also, again, to reiterate the Four Seasons concept and also a festival of seasons, they did uh, these coasters that are so cool. One celebrating the moon and the fall festival, one celebrating their fireworks festival in the summer, and one with the cherry blossoms. How cool is that? And I wasn't sure what was going on here. I'm like, oh, he's jumping, jumping like. <laughs> and one more time, the seasons changed. How cool is that? My wish is happiness and love for all. And then you put it here. And I love that you become a part of this, of this restaurant. And oh no, Chris, will you do the honors? Happiness, happiness and, and love, love for, for all. all, okay. And I love that you become a part of the restaurant as well as it really becomes an experience for everybody not just the food but feeling a part of the culture which is what epcot world showcase is all about and chris what did you wish my wish is may the people who walk through this door leave with a smile and a full belly oh that's so sweet chris is so thoughtful I promise just notice these are the coasters that they gave us so we have the fireworks festival in the summer celebrating the summer Oh my God, look at the dancing frogs, how cute. And then there's a party going, oh look, they're, they're roasting. Oh, they're not, that's not marshmallows. And look over here, the fall with the moon festival. And I think they got some rice over there and a, look at that cute hat. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. So Chris, it's the coasters. It's the coasters. And then the cherry blossom festival over here. I also didn't know there's a bar. So you can just come up here and grab drinks. Yep. And how neat is that? So they just built a bar here too, and it's brand new, and they built it so that way anyone that's waiting for either the new restaurant or Tepanato's the Hibachi Grill, they could actually come up, walk up, grab a drink while they're waiting, and then go to their, their, their table. Wow. Yeah. I love it. That was one of the best meals I've ever had in Disney World, not just Epcot and World Showcase. And in 2023, a lot of the restaurants have had budget cuts. Have you seen our other vlogs where things went horribly wrong? Yeah, a lot of them, you know, are saying, oh, it's first day, it's first day. Well, this is not even first day and they nailed it. This is a pleasant surprise, pre-2020. This is how I remember Disney restaurants being. Um, again, though, it isn't cheap, but compared to Lusso, yay, some of the other um, higher end World Showcase restaurants, it is comparable. After watching this, let me know how you feel about this restaurant when you come. Um, I'd be curious to know how you think after our review. Go binge watch some of the other restaurant vlogs. We had Trails End, which did not go well. It did not go well. Round of did not go well. But we have a ton more things to come. More restaurants are changing. So keep an eye out this week. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button because on our channel, it is never a dull moment. And our channel, we never say goodbye. We don't. We, we only say, say see you real soon. soon.